Hi, welcome back to Mr. Menta's ELL Classroom. Today we're going to continue talking about Chapter 14 of the Blue Book. To do this lesson, you'll need this page, page 134 of the Blue Book. You do not need to print it. This page, page 135 of the Blue Book. You do not need to print it. And this page, page 108 of your activity book. This page I want you to print, if you can. Okay? And as always, you'll need a separate sheet of paper. So 134. So we're talking here about times. At the top it says, what time is it? And then we've got some examples. See over here? It's 2 o'clock. Short hand is pointing towards the 2. Long hand is pointing towards the 12. 2 o'clock. It's 2.15. Short hand is pointing towards the 2. Long hand is pointing towards the 3. 2.15. We also say it's a quarter after 2. Because that's one-fourth of an hour. 15 minutes. Okay? 2.30. Short hand is pointing well between the 2 and the 3. Long hand is pointing at the 6. 2.30. It's half past 2 because that's half an hour. And then 2.45, shorthand is pointing between the 2 and the 3, closer to the 3. Longhand is pointing at the 9, 2.45, it's a quarter to 3. This is something that you should have learned in math class. Usually math class covers this. But we're going over it again to make sure you know how to say it. Okay? And then, over here, uh, short hand points at the 12, long hands point at the 12. It's noon. It's 12 noon. They got a little sun here, so we know that. There's the, the sun. And now we have short hand and long hand pointing to the 12. It's midnight. It's 12 midnight. And over here we can see it's night. Okay? So I think most of this has been covered in your math class, but we're going to go over it again a little bit to make sure. Now in our example, we get some good practice of using a lot of different tenses in the same exercise, okay? So we've got, looks like a woman talking to probably her husband. He's in the bathroom. He's in the middle of shaving. She has her coat on, so it looks like she's ready to go outside. What time does the movie begin? It begins at 8. At 8... Oh no, we're going to be late. Why? What time is it? It's 7.30. We have to leave right now. I can't leave now. I'm shaving. Please try to hurry. I don't want to be late to the movie. So, this is a pretty good practice of some of the tenses we've been using. He says, I'm shaving that's the present uh, progressive tense. Then we have to leave now. That's an imperative. Good old imperatives, right? So, we're going to make conversations like this. We'll say two. We'll say two. Over here, going on to the next page, we make conversations like that. We'll just do one and two. Okay? What time does blank? Okay? First, then this one. <coughs> what time does the football game begin? It begins at 3 o'clock. At 3 o'clock? Oh no, we're going to be late. Why? What time is it? It's 2.30. Okay? Alright, so you understand? I, I don't want to give you all the answers. Write down number one and number two. Or, if you have a partner to practice with at home, then write down, um, then, then don't write it down, just say the answers, okay? All right, so either practice with a partner at home and say the answers as a conversation, or write one and two. If you're doing it with a partner, also do three and four. If you're writing, don't do three and four, okay? So write the answers. So pause the video, write the answers. Okay, did you pause the video and write the answers? Great. So, what time does the football game begin? 
Check your work. Check your work. It begins, with an S, begins at 3 o'clock. Did you remember to put an S at the end of the word begin? Did you say begins? Okay. At 3 o'clock, oh no, we're going to be late. Why? What time is it? It's 2.30. We have to leave right now. I can't leave now. I'm taking a bath. Please try to hurry. I don't want to be late for the football game. Okay. Let's do number two. What time does the bus leave? It leaves, with an S, leaves, at 7.15. At 7.15? Oh, no. We're going to be late. Why? What time is it? It's 6.45. We have to leave right now. I can't leave now. I'm packing my suitcase. Please try to hurry. I don't want to be late for the bus. You get that? Good. All right, so a little more practice with time just to make sure we get it. Because if you don't know this, you're in trouble. Okay? So draw the time on the clock. This, we want to make sure you know this. Hopefully they covered this in math class already. But if you don't know this, you're in trouble. You need to know this. Okay? So make sure you can do this. Draw the time on the clock. So it's 10 o'clock. They drew one shorthand and one longhand. Shorthand at the 10, longhand at the 12. Okay? I want you to do that. Shorthand and longhand. Remember, shorthand and long. Then we'll go on to this. Which times are correct? Circle the correct time. You look at the clock. It's 4 o'clock or it's 5 o'clock, which is true. B. It's 5 o'clock. The long hand is at the 12. The short hand is at the 5. Okay? And then at the end, there will be a listening time. Um, I don't think we're going to do that listening exercise. We'll just do these two exercises. Okay, so do this and this, then you're done. Okay, so pause the video, write the correct answer. <sighs> All right, did you pause the video and write the correct answer? Good. So number two, it's 515. You should have a short hand pointed at the five and a long hand pointed at the three. Okay, maybe a little between the five and the six. Number three, it's 9.30. You should have your short hand pointed between the 9 and the 10, right in the middle. The long hand pointed at the 6. Okay? Number four, it's 3.45. You should have your short hand pointed kind of between the 3 and the 4, actually closer to the 4, and your long hand pointed at the 9. Number five, it's noon. Both hands should be pointed at the 12. The short hand is pointed at the 12. The long hand is pointed at the 12. Number six, it's half past 11. So, the short hand should be between the 11 and the 12, in the middle of them. The long hand should be pointed at the six. Okay? Number seven, it's a quarter to one. So, the short hand should be pointed between the 12 and the 1, closer to the 1, and the long hand should be pointed at the 9, okay? Number 8, it's a quarter after 2. The short hand should be pointed at the 2, maybe a little between the 2 and the 3, but closer to the 2, and the long hand should be pointed at the 3, okay? Good. All right, next, which times are correct? Number two, B, it's 11.30. Number three, A, it's a quarter after nine. Number four, A, it's noon. Number five, B, 
It's 1230. Number six. B. It's a quarter to three. Number seven. A. It's 130. Number eight. B. It's a quarter after seven. Number nine. B. It's midnight. All right, that's our review on telling time. Um, hopefully that's clear for everyone. Sorry if you already knew that. This is one of those things where it's important to make sure everyone knows it. I can't have one person in my class who doesn't know this because this is very important. But good work. I'll see you next time.